Hey guys, welcome back to Puff It Louder, and welcome back to Steam Prison. Last episode, we were, we found out that we killed somebody, or possibly our parents. We found out that my dad's name is Beef and he has a horrible mustache. I'm still, I'm gonna talk about it every episode, I swear to God. Um, and we met our co-worker Finn, who is a quiet, nice dude. Um, and now we are at the temple, and the text is pink, and the reason why the text is pink is because I could not figure out how to save the game, <laughs> and for some reason, it's like, you know what, you've read this before, it's gonna be pink now, so there might be a couple of frames that are pink, but you can just ignore it, and we'll just move forward. Woohoo! At the center of our country was the temple. I don't know why my voice cracked, but whatever. Almost all the public servants, including the police officers, worked inside its walls. It had been two years since I became a rank one police officer. Going to the temple every day had become a familiar routine. Sorry to keep you waiting, Finn. Here's our patrol route for today. Doesn't your family live around here? We could drop by. Uh, oh god. Oh, ho, ho. Um, Sir Cordoa. Cordoa? Cordoa? A uh, Cordoa, yeah. The large frame of Cordora Hase swayed towards us. Or ha Hase? Hase? Hase, I don't know. A rank 3 police officer. He was our direct superior. What is it, Sir Cordoa? Sir Cordoa? <laughs> I can't say his name. Uh, okay. He turned and began to walk away again immediately. Examination results aren't exactly something we can talk about in the hallway. I glanced at Finn and we followed Sir Cordoa. Cordoa? God damn it. Together. Cordy. We'll call him Cordy. <laughs> what kind of room is this? Have you never slept in a bed before, Finn? Like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Unless it's like a really nice bed. Purple mattress shit. You brought us into a foreigner's bedroom to tell us what our exam results are? Uh, yes, always. Nothing I do will change things now. I did everything I could. I'll accept whatever result I get. Is Finn, like, crying? Oh, no. Ew, God. <laughs> Finn, for the love of God. Yes. I didn't do anything, but okay. <laughs> I will take it. Yeah. Good job, Finn. You worked hard. Oh no, I'm not letting you get away with that. I know you studied so much that you went without sleep. Oh, okay. Maybe Finn's okay. <laughs> A burden? Finn, you need to take more pride in what you do. You're more competent than you think. Just the other day- <clears throat> Rude ass. <laughs> <sighs> oh, apologies. Please continue, Sir Kodoa. He nodded and handed each of us a white envelope. Okay. The depths. <laughs> like, what's the depths? 
The depths. Finn and I both gulped when we heard that word. The depths where we send our criminals? Oh, great. Seems really safe to send two newbies down to the fucking dungeons. I see. Finn, the voice of reason. I couldn't blame Finn for being afraid. The depths were a long way from our country. Everyone I knew had been taught from a young age to fear the depths. When I was a little girl, my father used to tell me that if I did something bad, he would send me into the depths, where the demons live. Thanks, beef god! <laughs> I knew that, if ordered, I would go. I suspect that we're sent there precisely because it's dangerous. Am I correct, Sir Kodoa? God. I understand. Fen, you're going as well, right? Oh, God, the cinnamon bun. Pull yourself together. You won't be going alone. I'll be there with you. The two of us can handle it, don't you think? You think I'm just like a, a bodyguard? <laughs> a guide? What are they expecting these criminals to do? They're in jail. Almost everyone? <laughs> what? Why do you say almost, though? That, that worries me. Almost everyone, huh? Yeah, exactly, Krimu. So bad. I'm a competent sword fighter. I'll protect myself and Finn. Oh. God, don't say those things. <laughs> Roger. After Sir Kodoa left, Finn murmured something about the depths. Maybe the criminals aren't running the show there, but I can't imagine it's a safe place. Let's both be on our guard. Finn nodded at me, then put the envelope away. We can make plans for tomorrow later. We have work to do today. Today. Woo! Oh, look at the fancy fountain. Looks like it's quiet, as usual. As rank 1 officers, the majority of our assignments were patrols. We just had to do rounds of the inner city, resolving anything that might require our attention. We won't have the chance to patrol as often once we're promoted. Yeah, I like these assignments. Of course it's important to investigate big crimes, but I like being on patrol and looking at things the same way as ordinary citizens. It feels very meaningful. Yeah, always faithful. As police officers, we serve the people. I want to remember that even if I get promoted. Oh boy. Uh, oh god, this is the guy I'm getting married to?! Lord Fitzgerald. I turned. I knew this man. His name was Fitzgerald Evans. He was the heir apparent of the Evans family, and worked as the secretary for his politician father, Warner Evans. He was also my betrothed. I don't dislike him, but we'd met each other a few times, even before our engagement, but hadn't been well acquainted. We spent our childhoods in the same schoolhouse, and occasionally conversed at dinner parties. He was a pleasant, soft-spoken man. There was little to find disagreeable about him, but that doesn't make me want to marry him. 
Since the prospect of marrying him didn't sit well with me, even talking in the street with him made me a little uncomfortable. Uh, yes, perhaps another time. Fitzgerald agreed with a smile, then he turned to Finn. I'm so rude! <laughs> be like, my bad, I forgot your name. <laughs> You're not a commoner then. <laughs> What's your problem? I failed to see the strangeness. We are guaranteed professional freedom by law. Whoops, I skipped his line. I don't know what the fuck he just said. Let's just go backwards a little bit. Use auto playback? Whoops. No, I do not. I do not want to use auto playback. What did he say? Oh. Ordinarily, children fall in the steps of their parents. Oh, okay. Whoops. Clearly, I haven't played visual novels in a long time. I just automatically skipped through his line. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <sighs> that was the most uncomfortable conversation. Yes, good day to you. I liked black tea, but I did not feel like drinking it with Lord Fitzgerald. The pressures of protocol and suitable conversation would have made me feel self-conscious. Good thing I'm on duty right now. I watched Lord Fitzgerald walk away and deflated with relief. Is he? Really? Okay, I see. If you like him so much, maybe you should marry him. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why are you so serious? I know you can't. You can make a nice pair with how highly you think of him, that's all. Don't call me a lady. Finn gave me another quick apology. In response to his question, I shook my head. I don't dislike him. I think he's very agreeable. I'm surprised he was paired with a tomboy like me. I just... It's not that I can't accept him personally. It's that I can't accept having to marry. I can't spend all my days complaining, though. This marriage is ordained by law. As a police officer, I uphold the law. What kind of police officer would I be if I don't accept this? Alright, this evening, I'm going to try on the wedding dress. Will you come with me, Finn? Hi. Yeah. Oh, oops. Thanks. That'll help. I'm gonna bring another man into my house to watch me change into a wedding dress? What? If the country's gonna pick my husband for me, why can't it pick my wedding dress, too? If it decided everything for me, then I could just accept my fate. I see. I suppose you have a point. Beats me. Well, it's not a very high priority for me. Finn gave me ex an exasperated smile. I can't blame him for being a little fed up. This conversation was starting to feel awkward. I decided to change the topic. Right. What about you? Finn looked at me quizzically. I ran into your father the other day. He told me your own wedding has been postponed. So that's what I can do. I can make it so that he feels uncomfortable and then <laughs> make it so that he's not secure enough to marry. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Secure. 
下級警察官である俺が他人をちゃんと養えるか心配で法的手続きを取って延期してもらっていますあのあもちろん相手方も了承済みです安定した生活は大事だと理解してくれています An exception in the law? I see I didn't realize that was possible どうしました Hmm, oh, nothing. Don't mind me. A stable life, huh? Well, you passed the promotion exam. That should do wonders for your salary. I see. <laughs> Ben's getting married. I'm laughing because I'm pleased. My wonderful partner is getting married. Congratulations. No, that's a completely different situation. You're four years older than I am. Our ranks may be the same, but I'm going to use you as a mentor and learn from your example. Walk proudly into the harbor of marriage, Finn. I'll follow in your footsteps eventually. Yes, I have high hopes. So, what's she like? The woman you're marrying? So far, you've always deflected that question. You better spit it out now. Oh god! Someone's getting murdered! Did you hear that? Something happened. Quick! There, the woman. Are you hurt, my lady? What happened? We looked in the direction she was pointing. We could only see his back, but he was carrying what looked like a bag. Finn, let's get him. Hey. It's hard to squeeze through this crowd. I took my whistle and blew as hard as I could. The crowd parted at the sound. Thank you! Finn ran into a side road. Finn knows more about this area than I do. Hoping he would be able to find his way back to me, I kept following our target. Surrender! If you don't give yourself up quietly, you won't- What? The man began to throw items at me from the street stalls. I had to be careful not to trip over anything underfoot. <laughs> Theft alone wasn't enough? You had to add obstruction of justice and property damage? You won't escape. I raced down the street after the man. I was closing in on him. I can do this. Just as he was almost in my grasp, he threw the bag at me. What? The bag sailed through the air over my head, landing behind me. I'm supposed to retrieve the bag, but if I stopped to pick up the bag, he would escape. I had to choose between that and catching him. Oh shit, my first choice. Um. Mm hmm. Catch the dude! You can you can catch him and then get the bag after, right? Oh, let's do it. I didn't want to leave the bag on the ground, but I couldn't let him escape either. I have to catch him no matter what. I managed a new burst of speed and slammed into his back. We both rolled across the pavement. Surrender! Even if he wanted to escape, he couldn't. I sat on his body and restrained him with rope. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say can be used against you. You- Stop struggling! Anyway, you're under arrest. You can think about a good excuse while you're in your cell. I checked the rope to make sure he couldn't free himself. Then I stood up. The man standing on the ground, resigned to his fate. Good grief. <laughs> Finn. You picked it up! <laughs> Good work! Huh? Finn took a white handkerchief and wiped something off my cheek. He's out here grabbing the bag for me, wiping the dirt off my face. He's like a mom. Thanks. Alright, let's go back to the lady. Hi. Huh. 
Hello. We've caught the criminal and retrieved your bag. It seems to be undamaged. Would you please check the contents, just in case? You don't need to. It's our job as police officers to keep the peace in this town. I threw a glance at Finn. He realized what I wanted and straightened out his back. Everyone, thank you for your assistance in apprehending this criminal. Finn and I both put our left hands on the hilt of our swords and saluted. The crowd applauded. A lot of people sneer at patrol work. There wasn't much I'd valued more than the applause and the happiness of those I protected. I loved my job. Yay! Good things have happened. I just didn't want the criminal to run off, you know? Handing him over took longer than I expected. Got that right. And we're gonna stop here! We caught a criminal! Woo! This has been a productive episode. Um, next time we will... I guess go try on a wedding dress tonight with Finn. I guess Finn will try on the wedding dress. Oh god. I don't know. We'll see what happens. See you guys later.